Hello, darlings. Welcome to Royal Clarence Marina. The sun is shining. I'm in a good mood. The doors of the music practice room are wide open. And I haven't opened this window in the studio just yet because quite often we'll hear a dog or a child. It's very annoying. <laughs> I do like my peace and quiet. Anyway, I haven't been up very long, but I... Do you know what? Every morning when I get up, I have three coffees before I do the broadcast or two and then I sort of treat myself after the broadcast to another coffee. Um, it's something to look forward to. Not that I don't like doing the broadcasts at all. It's completely the opposite. I love doing the broadcasts. But while I'm drinking my other coffees, rather than waste time, I've, I've fallen into this sort of elderly lady routine um, of listening, checking my emails, listening to a news update on three different stations. So the BBC, Al Jazeera and Sky News, because you they all report completely differently. And I get, they irritate me after a bit because they're overemphasizing something. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, stop harping on about that. So anyway, we've got a new prime minister here in, in our first Asian British Prime Minister here in the UK. Um, and I've always been a, sto a socialist, but the, really the socialists are annoying me so much. I don't like the leader, Stir Karma, uh, Stir, Star Kirma even. I, I can't even say his name. I'm, I find him so smarmy. And I'm turning into my mother in that respect because my mum would say, well, she, well, she hated uh, the leader of the Socialist Party, before Jeremy Corbyn and she hated him because of his jackets she always looks so shabby I don't like him at all <laughs> and I remember thinking well you can't it's about policy isn't it it's not what people wear um but however Steer Karma just he he wears a suit incorrectly somehow and um he's smarmy and he's the sort of man who'd be at the bar and he'd be a bit leering and I totally dislike the everything he says, everything that comes out. So there we are. I've turned into one of those older people who are so out of touch with modern modern political thought and um, I, I won't, well activism. I suppose there's a you know political thought is active, isn't it, in that arena? Um, and and uh, you know we at a certain age we're not having children. We're not. Um, We've got not much to do with schools anymore, unless we're a teacher or a head teacher, I would hope, at our age. Um, do you see? So you do, be, you n not on purpose, you're not sort of ignoring what's going on in the world, but you kind of start thinking in your own little box, in a fluffy little box, protected. Do you see what I mean? At least that's where I am at the moment. And um, it's with the thing with government and politics is, you're really thinking from the subject. It's a very subjective decision, isn't it? How does this work for me? You know, am I hungry? Am I housed? Do I have a job? That sort of thing. Um, and it, it comes to us all in the end when we start to feel the bones aching and this happening and that happening. We start to become preservative. I don't know if that's the right use of this word, <laughs> but we want to preserve. So we start thinking about health. Health matters, doesn't it? Um, and talking of health, I think I'm lucky enough to have a guest on the radio, not today, probably sometime next week, um, who's going to talk about skin health with us over a certain age and um, the, the side hustle I've really been thinking about the side hustle now if you don't know what the side hustle is it's a, an extra sort of job that you do over and above the the daytime activities so it's not your main thing it's like a a little thing you do on the side for a bit of pocket money or um, or, what, you know, maybe you're saving up for a car or something. A sports car, I'm having midlife crisis. I really, really want uh, a Porsche. I desperately want a Porsche. I've priced them up and they're a little out of my price bracket at the moment. Um, but I'm going to make that change because I'm a very positive 60-year-old person. And, you know, I've launched my YouTube channel and I'm just, just I'm going to get out there and I'm going to make the most of this. 
um, uh, decade, certainly. And then if I'm too tired to carry on with the next decade, I'll, I'll retire then. <laughs> but for the moment, I dream of my Porsche. Anyway, my side hustle, um, I, I mean, I suppose rather than a side hustle, I suppose I do about four different things. But they're all media related. But each one has its own potential for generating income. And the side hustle nowadays is actually something that a lot of us do. Because the the advance of technology means that we we no longer have to spend hours and hours and hours. You know, when I think about my artwork, to, this morning over coffee, every morning, in fact, over coffee, I take out my iPad and I use Procreate, which is just a sketching, a drawing tool on my iPad, and I create art. And I do that every morning. But the wonderful thing about an iPad or electronic pen or whatever it is that you're using, you know, Photoshop or whatever... The wonderful thing is you can make a mistake and it really doesn't matter because you can erase the mistake and you can go back a step or five steps or ten steps. You can't do that with pen and paper. And, and you know, when I was at art school, we, we, we used to go through reams of paper. Of course we did. And equipment. And I could never afford oil paints, ever. You know, all, all of this sort of thing has been, now been done away with. But the other problem, and it is a problem, is that if, you're, if you've been around for a long time, you know, if you're over 50, say certainly over 60 and definitely over 70, you you come from a world where things, beautiful things, took a long time to create. And now beautiful things don't take very long to create. Even our faces don't take long to make beautiful anymore. You know, we don't have to try too hard. We can go and, uh, you know, get some injections in, in the lunch hour or put on some beautiful creams that have been researched by biochemists. That's a little clue there about my next interview um so nothing takes time now what this means of course for everybody but especially difficult i think for the the more mature person is we're not used to doing things that quickly and we end up sort of walking around twiddling thumbs thinking oh well i've done that now what do I do? Of course, the devil makes work for idle hands. Um, but we're far too mature and sensible to find devilment anymore. Um, thankfully, at least I am, there's no devilment in my existence these days. I've had enough devilment previously to even consider it as an option today. But I do find myself, after I've done my art on my iPad in the morning and I've had my coffee... I do think, well, what am I going to do today? And this is one of the things, isn't it, that we we have to really think about. If we want to be happy, especially, you know, when we've retired, officially or unofficially, if we want to be happy, we need to be occupied. We need to be finding something that we really enjoy doing. And I think that's quite difficult. There are so many possibilities on the internet and what have you. If you if you go in and, and look up things and, um, you know, what can I do? What hobbies? What crafting? There's so much, isn't there? There's a, an avalanche of possibilities. And in fact, too much can be just so overwhelming that you end up not doing any of it because it's just too much. It's like everybody's trying to sell you something. Everybody's trying to get you to do this. And I, I'm not the only person, surely, that um, goes down a rabbit hole on, on YouTube. Uh, normally it's about cello for me, cello playing. And, you know, it's suggested video. And, oh, I'll have a look at that. Oh, I'll have a look at that. I have a... But crafting and art, so that's what my mum does. She's a knitter, beautiful knitting she does. But she goes down rabbit holes, knitting rabbit holes. <laughs> So um, I'm going to be looking around and sharing with you some joys of uh, things that we can do that don't cost us too much, that possibly could even be a side hustle, because you can never underestimate the job satisfaction when you create something and you also get money for it, because that's, a, you know, that we're coming up for Christmas, aren't we? Um, how on earth are we going to manage all the grandkids and the, you know, the cousins and nieces and nephews and... I mean, I don't know how many generations you've got. I've only got, there's me and my daughters and I'm a grandmother, so I've only got two ahead. But I've got my own mum, so she's got three. But it won't be long, darlings, before she's got four generations. 
can you believe that? Can you believe the money that she'll need to consider? So what we do in our family is we have a we make a sort of deal where everything's under a tenner. I don't I think that would be about um sixteen dollars in in USA dollar. Um so uh, maybe thirteen. I don't know. We we're doing a bit better today. We've got a new government, so the pound did go up. Um, thankfully, because it was was looking a bit grim for us last week, only if we if, if we care about that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, the idea of making something is absolutely wonderful in itself, but the pleasure of giving it and it being appreciated is, you know, unquestionably the most enjoyed part of doing that. But if you can also make a bit of money out of it for your next batch of wool. This is what I say to mum. She actually sells her, her doggy coat. She makes doggy coats. Um, and, you know, you need your stock items, don't you? You need your crafting items, or your art materials. I mean, my iPad costs me 50 GPP, GBP uh, per month. That's not cheap. That really isn't cheap. And uh, that was a contract, you see. I took that on as a contract for about three years. I think I'm a, I'm not even a year in. But I couldn't live without it, do you see? And it's worth every penny to me, personally. Um, so, you know, I mean, that's why I have the art gallery, of course, to sell to sell the pieces. That's very, um, it's very lovely when somebody buys something. It's very rewarding. And it also helps pay for my, my tools, the tools of my trade, as it were. So I'm going to be looking uh, for the from from now on. Really, I'll find something tomorrow for the th- side hustles, side hustles, and things to keep the devil at bay. How exciting! Do come back tomorrow. Um, I've got a YouTube channel, Sixty Summers, and I've also got a lovely website with a forum. And uh, what else is there? We'll just find out. You, free ringtones. I don't know if that's your bag, really. Um, you know, you have to give the kids ice cream, free ice cream. So for for my site, it's free ringtones. So there we go. Um, I'm off to practice some cello and uh, get my third coffee, darlings. I will speak to you later.